Hello and welcome back to Kanchanaburi. Today we're going to be taking a, a ride out on an all-inclusive party boat. It's been arranged by Newt's Bar. From what I can gather, they do this every month. Uh, they'll get a, a few customers together, a few friends, and however many people they get together, they share the cost, so there's no profit involved. Like I say, it's all-inclusive food and alcohol, although I won't be going for the alcohol because I know what I'm like especially all-inclusive. I'm not a big drinker anyway, but if I have one, that gives me the go-ahead of two. And then you know where I'm going with this, don't you? Three, four, five, six. I'm on the roof of the boat doing the can-can with my shorts on the head. So yeah, I won't do it. I'll see if I can give you a quick look at the sort of boat I'm expecting. Now I've got no idea, because obviously I've never been on this type of thing before, but I've seen them getting pulled up and down the river by other little boats. And if you look on the other side, I've shown you these before if you've seen the other vlogs. That's like your party boat thing. You've got a balcony going on the side. They put loads of food on. And uh, yeah, music. Which can I just say, if it is copyrighted, which I was looking at Songkran. If you've never seen Songkran, look at my last vlog. It was crazy. But yeah, if, if, if I do get copyrighted, I'll have to overwrite just that, that music. And yeah, we'll have a float down the river. I'll show you what it's like on the party boat. Taking the sunset. It's on for about four to five hours and it costs a thousand baht per person. And if you're getting free alcohol and free food, that's a bargain, I'm sure you'll agree. Four to five hours. Just think how much you could drink in that time. Uh oh, here's trouble. Let's see if he ignores me. Yeah, I think I've dodged a bullet there. <laughs> Especially when you see sides like this. Yeah, I've been invited when I went to do Songkran, make sure he's not following me. When I when I went to Songkran to Newt's Bar, I got uh, invited on the boat. Yeah, I got asked if I wanted to come along. Uh, I was only in there for a couple of hours to get the vlog done. And then I was out, it was crazy Songkran, it really was. And what I've shown you there, dog's not following me, is it? I think he's his brother or sister down here. Such a narrow road, you've got to really watch what you're doing. They come up from everywhere. Where was I at? Yeah, Newt's Bar, at Songkran. Four or five days of absolute mayhem. I'm watching him. I don't know how they do it. I really don't know how they do it. It was going on, it started at 11 o'clock in the morning, and it was going on until five, four, four or five o'clock in the morning. Five days of pure mayhem. So if you never caught me last vlog, Please do, it was great. What a party atmosphere. The tide really know how to kick it off. Now it's 40 degrees and it's 3.20 in the afternoon. So I've got to get a jog on because we're meeting at Newt's Park at 3.30. I'm walking down because I took my hire bike back. I've had it for a week. And you know I love to walk. If I stayed on the bike, then I'd just lose my walking power and my stamina. So I've been putting in a few miles today, and I'll be doing the same tomorrow. So I'm just walking down the back lane, down near VN Guest House, towards River Choir Road. Chat by tides quite this afternoon. Best Sunday dinner I've had in Thailand. So yeah, I've got no idea what to expect here. So I've never done it before. For my look, it could be a 10-man diggy with two oars, and a bucket of chicken. <laughs> well, no, I'm sure it won't be. Everyone said it's really good. And if, if you're just paying a thousand baht just for the food, it's not just for that, it's for the experience. So floating down the river for a few hours, taking the sunset. And if you do drink, there's that extra bonus. You've got it on tap. You see the sign up there, Pong Pen Guest House. It's halfway down River Choir Road. Oh, again, I can highly recommend that place. Just as tap as Thai, the food is really good. I went there with Norman, my friend, the other day. I've got a cordon bleu, and I love cordon bleu. I haven't had it for ages. And I was a bit apprehensive at first, because it's not easy to get right. The stuffed chicken breast, hello, sweaty cap. The stuffed chicken breast with cheese and wrapped in bacon, breadcrumbs on, on the outer. It's like a posh chicken Kiev. 
and it was really good. It was really good. Norman got liver and bacon, my mash. His looked amazing as well. So yeah, I highly recommend Pong Peng, the green, uh, the green Kanchana booty. So my accommodation is 2.1 miles, which is about three and a half kilometers from Newt's Bar. And I'll be there in a couple of minutes. Newt's Bar straight opposite the 7-Eleven. Down near the Blue Star Guest House. So I've been sat here for half an hour now. I'm just sat talking to Norm in the bar. Um, yeah, there's always a purpose behind what to do. They get you down there early, sell you a few drinks in the bar, so she's making money, she's making business. And then we'll make our way down the boat. How? I've got no idea. But I'm just going with the 7 Eleven. I need an electrolyte after that walk. I've never had my Royal Day in, but this is a good backup. No idea what it's called. Ulam or something like that. Ulam. Yeah, I'm not drinking, definitely not drinking. So apparently, I've seen all the food, it looks really good. You've got like fries, but then you've got loads of vegetables, uh, pad kapow, uh, plenty of chicken in there. But now I know there's only two free drinks. It's not unlimited. I thought unlimited might get a bit expensive for them, uh, especially with a few of the people who drink down here, because they can like, neck them. So yeah, it's two free drinks, an unlimited food, and a good night apparently. Norman's been on one of these before, not with Newt's. Uh, a few of the bars do it. And he said it was a brilliant night, so I'm really looking forward to it. I just want to hurry up and get there so I can show you a bit of the experience. The music, I've seen them going down the river before, and it is extremely loud, like crazy loud. But I'll see if I can catch a few breaks in between. And if I can, the, the music will just have to be over copyrighted, unfortunately. But I always try and mix it in, so it's not too bad. So yeah, join me on the River Oak Cruise restaurant, bar, good night, on the River Kwai. There's Peter. Oh, Peter! <laughs> He's a great lad. The fellow Geordie. I love these taxis. They always have a funny advertisement on the side. So from what I can go, there's about 15 or 20 people. The food's all looking good. Plenty of vegetables. Pad Kapow. All the ingredients. Is that Pad Kapow? Yeah, yeah. I like chips, chicken, more chicken. And nuts. <laughs> Crazy Ting <tink> Tong. <laughs> Here's Norman, my good pal. Getting ready for the darn eight hours. Overrun rooms. I'm hanging on the side of the bike here. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's good. So we're down near the Temple Market. Oh, no, I've seen this before. No, I've seen this before. Straight down. Yeah, it's Friday night. I'm a, a day ahead of the vlogs. And the Temple Market's on. And you've seen last time I was here, when I did a vlog on this, I was sat on that raft over there. But we're going straight through. Sweaty cop. Yeah. Don't think that's anything to do with us. And here's the boat. It looks like it's got its own engine. A lot of them that I see, they're getting pulled by a smaller boat. This looks like a bigger one. The Pearl of River Kwai. If you want to book it, there's the number. Luxury cruise, you can touch. You can touch. There's all the food on the side. Toilet. All life jackets. 
little bar area. Loads of seating. Some cushions down the front. And there's an upstairs as well. Nice cushions up the top. I'm really looking forward to this. Apparently we go up straight under the bridge of the River Kwai and then we come right back down again and catch the sunset. Yeah, what a, what a day it's going to be, or what a night it's going to be. I'm glad you can join me. Yeah, have you seen me vlog on the floating market? That's what that is. And that's where I was sat. And we're away. So there's 12 people from the bar all together. The other three people on the board of the staff. We're off. Captain's behind the wheel. I've just come up to the top deck. So yeah, this was the type of boat I was expecting. Where you get pulled. You get pulled by a smaller boat. Like that type of thing as well. I was being taught to Norman and that's where he went for his son's birthday. He said it was really good. You have all different cafes and places like that all the way down here. Uh, re residences, hotels and what have you. And that's where I walked before. I was stood up there when I pointed out that boat when I was walking to meet to um, to Newt's bar to meet everyone. So here's the first bridge. There's Good Times restaurant. Great breakfast there. And right further down in the distance, you just see the River Choir Bridge. Everyone's, had about, everyone's having a great time. We're about uh, 30 minutes in. There's some lovely places on both sides. It's nice on a night to stop by the river. Just watching it all go back, it's so tranquil. I'm on the water. See, I never get to see all these places. You can see the tents inside the huts. These are all tucked away right down off River Choir Road where people aren't allowed to go. It's a different experience, something you can see off the boat. That's a nice place. Jolly Fire it says. Never heard of it. Well, that's part of that hotel there within apartments. They all look very quiet. Because it'd be so expensive. too far from the bridge now. There's an exclusive place, Cork or River Kwai, all the jet skis, cushions out the front. Again very quiet, few people over there. Just getting close to the bridge now. When it comes up I'll go on the top deck so we get a better look there. I'm sure he's timing this so the train can be coming over the bridge. So there's the mock concentration camp, the prisoner of war camp. There you have loads of seats out the front. So you can sit on a nice, there's a street food market just behind it, just surrounding it. I have done a walk through there in the daytime. I'll have to go back on the night. Uh, you get nice clear pots and you cook the meat inside the pots and then you add things to it like noodles and bean sprouts and things like that. It's a really nice evening. Again, there's uh, the uh, the temple I did a vlog on, and that might be in Christmas Day. I'm not sure. They're all in the Kanchan Abudi playlist.
This is nice going underneath the bridge. Five o'clock now, sun's still beaming down. Looks like you might be pulling in. This little dock. Now I think you might be pulling in here for the bridge for the train. Because the train comes past in about 15 minutes. Oh man, we're moving away from the bridge. I'm sure the train is due any time now. I really, really wanted to get that on camera. Again, that's what I thought we were going to, what we were going to be on that there. Oh, I didn't expect this. We got the guitar out. A U turn, come back underneath the bridge. Grubs up. So that's where we got picked up the temple. We're doing a flyby. I thought we were going that way. This is what I was talking about before. The bigger boat getting pulled by the little boat. We just gone past the sky bridge. I've never been down this part of the river. Not a lot further down, and I hope I'm thinking we get to Chuck John Beach, where I started off my Christmas Day blog in Kanchanaburi. And also on Christmas Day, I went up to that temple. Can't remember the name now. Beautiful sunset. There's the Kanchanaburi sign. I was eating when it was on the other side. <laughs> Still loads and loads of food left. Wow, look at that sunset over the mountains. A little water park there as well. There's another temple that I've been to in the Kanchanaburi playlist. That's near um, Hellfire Pass 2. I've parked myself on the top deck, got myself on one of these little balloon seat things. Really comfortable.
evening mate, brilliant. Great evening. Enjoying it? Absolutely loving it. Loving it. It's brilliant. Hey Mickey. Yeah. Okay. All these what you see going down the side of the river, they're all fish farms. There's been loads of them going all the way down. They'll be shipping all the fish off to Bangkok, Pattaya and what have you, the big cities. <laughs> Oh, what a special evening. He's getting, getting ready to do U turn. It's only about a half an hour to get back up where we started, and that's all we've got left for half an hour. So I've showed you whatever there is to show. Thank you very much for joining me. I really hope you've enjoyed the trip. I really do. It's been so special. As I've said that many times. Please like, subscribe, all the good stuff, share with your friends. And thank you so much for joining me. And the next vlog, I'll be doing a shout out for all the channel sponsors. And that'll be coming up tomorrow. Have a great day guys, from the River Kwai.